just washed my hair and ready to get some makeup on. Today I'm going to get my hair cut again and I'm going to, well I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do to it, but it's going to be a surprise. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, do another time lapse section to the portion of this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Back of the Bargainer and I make different videos, just whatever I'm doing in life, I usually share on my channel. So if you would like to see more, just keep watching. Okay guys, I'm going to get started. I do have a makeup wipe in the wing in case I make a mistake. Um, these are the Bolero facial wipes, which are really nice. Um, they're very moisturizing and um, clean up makeup really well. And then <clears throat> I went to Big Lots recently, picked up a bag of sponges for $1.88. And I just feel like that is such a better deal. And I get a variety. They're, they're soft. This is not as nice as like um, a Technique sponge, but it's going to work for today. And I also have a couple in extras if I, if I don't like this one. I'm going to try it today. I already moisturized my face with Mary Kay moisturizer and I'm going to start with concealer today. So um, my mirror's down here and I'm going to try to look in the right camera. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've been just, I don't know, I haven't been making too many videos lately. Uh, a lot of times I'm, I make a lot more. My face has really broken out lately. I'm not sure exactly why, but it's just, you see it, right? It's everywhere. Maybe I'm having like a reaction to a product I'm using. I really don't know, guys. But I'm just gonna quickly put some concealer on and we'll get started. I'm not using those other wipes from Dollar Tree anymore. Um, the ones I had used in my last makeup tutorial, I stopped using those. So I don't think that was what was bothering my face. I think it's something else. I don't like the smell of this <laughs> of that sponge. It doesn't smell too good. All right, foundation. And um, all right, so I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fill Makeup. And let's just put some everywhere and then we'll see if we need any extra. Yeah, I feel like that wasn't very much. It's, oh boy. See, I either put too little or too much. And then I have to do something with all that <clears throat> foundation that I put on. Oh man, I don't know about you guys, but my, my allergies are really bothering me this year. Um, I take Zyrtec every day and um, it usually helps, but in the morning my voice is always a little bit, ugh. Foundation, my cover's pretty well, I like it. I like this foundation, it feels nice on the skin and covers. Last time we talked about British shows. Let's talk about something else this time. Um, my haircut that I want to get today. I'm going to go get my haircut. I cannot wait. I think it was a couple months ago. And um, I don't really get a cut that needs to be kept up with too often, you know, like. But this time I am going to get a style instead of just getting it layered. I'm going to actually get a hairstyle. So I may actually have to go more often now because I'm going to get a certain cut to it. Yeah, so I thought I'd do another one of these videos. I haven't done a makeup video in a while. So, why not, right? Why not take you guys along? I'm using my tr tried and true powder. I usually just stick to... It's hard to think when you're like pounding your face. <laughs> um, I'm using the... I'll just tell you what it is. It's the Ramel London in Creamy Natural number 011. And it's really nice on the skin. I like it. it. It just really is nice over foundation. And I totally forgot to set the timer. <laughs> ah, I won't time it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with my blush. Although I do need to make sure I know what time it is. So I don't get... I don't... I'm not late to my appointment. <laughs> my day off. I don't know. I'm going to do laundry. I have two loads of dishes to do. Oh, I can't stand <laughs> housework. I'm thankful that I have a house. I'm thankful that I have a family. But, you know, there's always something to do, isn't there? I mean, there's never enough to keep us busy. <laughs> I mean, there's always enough to keep us busy. You know what, guys? Oh, man. My brain is not working today. 
This is just a nice lip gloss from NYC. I like to do a little color on the lips before I do my eye makeup, just to kind of, I like to have the lips done and I can see what where I'm going with something. So I am going to use my Lorac palette. So I'm going to take the cream color and I'm going to cover my lid. I already put foundation on my above my eye, so I'm not going to do like a, a primer or anything. I just don't really see the need to put it on top of foundation. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get a nice creamy base. Mauve. Same brush. I'm not really, I'm not a multi-brush person. This week, nothing really to say. Next month, my mom's coming to visit and I'm going to have a tea. So I'm so excited about that. I'm going to plan another tea. So that'll be mid-May. I'll do that. And let's see what else I want to do here. I'll go into the champagne color and put that right here in the front. Put a little bit of nude right there. And here. I'm gonna put cream back up here on the top just to highlight. And let me go ahead and get my, my eyelash curler. I'm just gonna do one eye at a time just so you guys don't have to see both. That would be a lot of footage there. Oh, I just hate doing that. It's just the worst feeling ever. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to look in this mirror down here to do this because otherwise I will get it everywhere and I definitely don't wanna do that. I really like liquid eyeliner. I especially like the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. It's only $2 at most places you find e.l.f. And guys, it just takes practice with liquid eyeliner. That's all it is. Just have to keep practicing. That's what I've had to do. Just keep practicing and just go with the flow of the brush. That's what I do. And then I'm going to put some mascara on. I do have to do my eyebrows though. really tell how much of a difference it makes. Look at my eyes, they look totally different. And then I'm just gonna use a little brush for the um, brow product that I'm putting in my, on my eyebrows right now. Just gonna kinda do a quick brow. I don't really wanna take a long time with it. Just darkening the hairs really. And then some brow gel. I'm so glad my mom sent me this brow gel because when she sent it to me, um, I was just putting powder on at the time and now I have this brow gel. It makes it look like hairs. It really is nice. I like it a lot. So here is makeup on this side, fully done. And then this is the unfinished. So let me finish this side. Okay guys, I finished and I'm all done eyebrows I hope they are matching <laughs> all right so I'm gonna head off to the hairdressers and I'm going to get my hair cut and I am gonna get it cut I'm gonna get it cut styled it's not gonna be all one length like it is now so I'm really excited about that and I will be back after to show you how it looks I forgot highlight Alright guys, what do you think? Here's my new haircut. I got an angled look in the front and yeah, I really like it. It's just fresh and you know how it is when you get your hair cut, freshly cut, it just feels so wonderful. And most days I keep my hair straight so 
um, it's just going to be a really easy hairstyle for me to do and then it also will look nice when I curl it. I have my curling rod so I'll try to do that. Maybe I'll do that in an upcoming video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I stopped at Five Below after I got my haircut. So I'll have a Five Below haul coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.